In the bone tissue lecture on slide 12, we present uh, bone tissue cells, osteoblasts, osteocytes, and osteoclasts. But we do not mention, except for in the text to the right of that slide, as in here, we mention the osteoprogenitor cell, which in fact is the immediate precursor cell to an osteoblast. Now, uh, this should be corrected in, in that lecture as well as the bone formation lectures where we do not mention the osteoprogenitor cell. Now, osteoprogenitor cells come from stem cells. The stem cells divide and they renew osteoprogenitor cells that differentiate, differentiate into osteoblasts. So the source of multiple osteoblasts during bone formation, so that you've got, constantly got a supply of them, is um, immediately from the osteoprogenitor cell, but originally from stem cells. And the stem cells are the ones that divide and keep that supply going. As long as bone formation is occurring under the influence of bone forming uh, hormones and growth hormones. This drawing below actually illustrates here the stem cell and the um, mesenchymal cell transformation cell dividing an osteoprogenitor cells, the pre-osteoblasts and the mature osteoblasts. And then of course uh, the mature osteoblasts cover the bone that's forming, they provide the matrix, the osteoid which mineralizes and when bone formation is ceased and you just have a very flat lining cell. And of course osteocytes are the osteoblasts that become entrapped. So hopefully this will make that clear. And uh, the question that was posed here was, is a wonderful question. It, it goes beyond what we actually presented in lecture.